Howdy howdy, Cody here with Creation Outdoors and today I'm coming at you with a video that's a little bit different from what we normally do and that's because I recently purchased a piece of gear that I'm pretty excited about and today we're going to open up the Tethered One Sticks and I'm going to go through and talk about the features of these sticks as well as why I bought them and we'll see if they're worth it. Okay, here we go. Little box. They love saddle hunters. Let's see what's in here. I can tell you that the box is pretty light for containing a climbing stick. Okay. There it is, folks. The tethered one stick. So just a little bit of background about this stick before we get too deep into things. Uh, it's a titanium tube uh, with machined aluminum steps. And it's about 17 inches from step to step. And the biggest thing, and the thing that I think catches a lot of people's eye is that it weighs less than one pound per stick, including the rope. So they have this uh, Dynalite rope, which has about a 2,000 pound braking strength, I think they say, uh, and this proprietary Dynalock tab, which replaces the Versa button, which I think is found on a lot of sticks. Um, the other thing about these sticks is they came up with this uh, kind of Sure Stick or Sure Lock tab system that connects stick to stick, and I'll go over that a little bit later. Um, but overall, it's a pretty pretty neat stick with some interesting features and some of the little details that I think are pretty neat that they included on here are things like these glow tabs that glow in the dark so when you're climbing down at night uh, you can see your next stick which is I think is just uh, you know it's an attention to detail factor that I think um, other companies don't necessarily think about and so that's a little bit of an overview about this stick and so let's go put this on a tree to see how it fits and how um, this new proprietary connection system works. Here we are on location at a nearby park, but I think we found a suitable tree to test this bad boy out. And so we're gonna throw it on and see what we think. And so as normal, of course, with every stick, we're gonna start just by finding a decent spot on the tree and then wrapping our rope around. And so thankfully, Tether does give you ample amount of rope of this 2000 braking strength uh, Dynalite cord, which is nice. And so their proprietary knot technique with their little uh, alternative Versa button uh, starts by just going underneath and then wrapping around over top. And so we bring that down and then just pull down to seat the stick. And so from there, we're gonna use these grooves to secure this rope. And so from there, we go up into this top groove and then across and down. And we can try and get it to seat in there a little bit. These grooves are a little bit tight for the size of the cord, but overall, I think it's okay. We're gonna go down behind and then we're essentially just gonna make a cross. So we go up through the bottom one and then back down through that top one. So we end up with this cross pattern. And now final, the final step is to secure this with what's called a half hitch. And so we're just gonna go over top of this, around the back, and then <laughs> through just to really secure this rope. And so that is the technique for attaching the tethered one stick to the tree. It does seem secure and seems like this uh, smaller diameter cord does grip the tree pretty well. As you can see, we can seat the stick down, and overall, I think it's okay. Now, as I said, we're gonna use this throughout the season, and I'll follow up after I do a season of tying this knot, but it is quiet and fast, which I think are pretty important when you're trying to set up your sticks, uh, especially in the dark in the morning, just trying to get everything set up. So overall, uh, pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with, with this attachment technique. 
So now that we're on the tree, we're gonna hop on and see what we think uh, just standing on these steps. And it's actually pretty secure. So they did have this uh, machined aluminum piece where you do have a little bit of an increased footbed, just you know, feeling your toes. Although if I was gonna critique it in any way, I would say that I wish it was a little bit farther from the tree. Now, the fact that these main portions do kind of wing out and also cup up, I think is a nice touch because it does feel pretty secure on the outer edges of your feet, which I like. And so we'll have to see what these little glow buttons do in the nighttime, but overall I think it's pretty secure and uh, definitely good grip and, and feels pretty good in terms of how it feels on your feet when you're climbing up. And so I'm pretty satisfied with that as well. Let's finish with the obvious. Are these sticks worth it? I'm going to talk about a little bit why I bought these sticks and then go from there about kind of the pros and cons list that I think uh, really dictate whether or not you should buy these sticks. So I bought these sticks because my priority was lightweight and easy attachment and portability. And so for me, these sticks check those boxes. I was using last year the uh, Muddy Pro sticks and I was just never really satisfied uh, both with the weight. Those are about 2.5 pounds per stick where these are one pound per stick. But also, I would be frustrated every night when I was putting the sticks together to walk out of the woods. They just, they just didn't fit well together. And so I think uh, the connection system that Tethered uses is, is pretty good. Um, but the only thing about this is that it is loud. And the other thing is that it's definitely going to take me some practice to get all of these things lined up because these little pins take a little bit, as you can see, uh, to get lined up. And so I'm sure that will just come with practice. Um, but the thing about these is that they will stay together once you get them together. Uh, the other thing that I like about this stick is that they did third party testing. So there's a lot of companies coming on to the scene with climbing sticks. And I think that's a really good thing because it's going to keep the prices competitive. But the thing with a lot of these companies making them kind of out of their shop or out of their garage is that they may not be rigorously tested in terms of strength and safety. Now, Tether did a good job of going through third-party testing and looking at the braking strength of these sticks and the different components. And so that's actually something that I really like for, for safety and just for overall rigor because they gave this to someone else's hands and it went through rigorous testing to see how it would hold up. And so I really like that about these sticks. The other thing that I like about them is that there is this large footbed. And so being that this is all one machined piece, you know, it, it really increases the size of the surface area that you can put your boot on, uh, both while climbing, but also if you're in the tree, especially for something like saddle hunters, where you're using a platform, this could definitely aid in the amount of surface area that you have to stand on and kind of uh, maneuver in the tree. Uh, I like the lightweight portion of this rope, um, and it is super small. Uh, they say that it's got a great braking strength, um, but the other thing about these ropes and their connection to the tree, I think, is the surface area. Um, being that it is such a small diameter, there's less surface area just to improve friction with the tree. And so I think that uh, running this on some trees with smoother bark, like a sub-adult maple or a beech or uh, even an aspen or something, uh, could, could maybe cause some problems. I don't know. I'll have to see throughout the year whether or not uh, that becomes an issue. So I like the weight. I like the packability. Uh, they're definitely going to have... I'm definitely gonna have to get used to connecting them, um, but I think once that, uh, <laughs> once I get that, um, I, I'm, I'm gonna like that as well. So now for some cons. Uh, the first con, again, as I already spoke about the noise, so you're gonna have to buy some stealth strips to put on these sticks just to silence them a little bit. The other thing I don't necessarily like, and this is in regards to the connection system, is these tabs. They say that these are consumable. So I'm assuming in their testing, uh, these break. Now in the box, they do come with a replacement set that's actually orange, which might be nice. Um, but you know, uh, you're spending this much on a stick. I don't wanna have to buy these little tabs, you know, all the time. 
so that's a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, and I think that the other thing, and the main thing that we should talk about is the price. And so these are expensive sticks. Uh, and that's probably going to turn a lot of people off. But when I was looking at sticks, I was moving from what I would call like a mid-tier stick, uh, the Muddy Pro sticks, to an elite stick. I was really focused on weight, looking forward to trying some saddle hunting maybe this fall. And so once you get into that elite category of sticks, there, there's really not that much different in price. And so we can look at the beast sticks, we can look at timber ninja sticks, which are carbon fiber, and so on and so forth. And those are, you know, getting towards $100, $100 a stick. Um, but a lot of those you also have to buy like a Versa button and you have to buy a strap and so on and so forth to even connect it to the tree. And so the thing that I like about this is that it's all in one. You get your cordage with the stick and it's all one set price. And I think that when you really look at some of those other sticks that are in the same category, uh, you're going to get to about the same price as this once you buy all of those add-ons that you actually need to use them. And so I don't, I don't know that the price is that ridiculous. Um, it's definitely a commitment and it's definitely someone who, it's definitely for someone who's refining their system. Uh, I don't like that they're so short, only about 17 or 18 inches from step to step, but I think that's because they wanted to keep them under one pound just for uh, kind of the, the marketing and the sound of a sub one pound stick. But overall, if you're refining your system and you want to step up your game uh, and use these sticks, uh, I like them quite a bit and I think that they are worth it. With that being said, I'm going to go through the season using these sticks and I'll probably do a follow-up video after the season is done just to see how my opinions of the stick uh, hold up through the season and to see if I really think that they're worth it uh, after the season as well. And so with that, you know, thanks for watching. If you have any specific questions about these sticks, please leave them in the comments. I do read the comments. I will answer your question to the best of my ability. And so anything I missed, uh, drop it down below. And I'll also link these in the description. If you found this useful or if you want to see how these sticks hold up through the year, uh, please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't hurt you at all, but it does help me out a lot. And so I would appreciate that as well. And with that, I appreciate you watching, and until next time, uh, thanks. We'll see you later.